it's all starting to become a little bit more clear, slowly. Still far off from the uh, ultimate reality. However, let's talk about the BGI group, otherwise known as the Beijing Genome Institute. Now, there's going to be terms in this video that I'm going to go over or, or briefly touch on that I will expand upon later on as we dig further into this. So let's start with the BGI group itself. We're going to look into the BGI group. It's a little bit of its history, the founders, a little bit of their history. And then we're going to look at the current day situation and some of the narrative that's being pushed. So BGI, currently known as the BGI group, formerly known as the Beijing Genomics Institute is a Chinese genome sequencing company headquartered in Shenzhen, Guangdong, China. Now, if I again, if I apologize, or if I uh, pronounce any of these names wrong, I apologize. <laughs> again, not my forte at all. So let's go ahead and take a look. So BGI was formed in 1999 to participate in the Human Genome Project, something we'll look into later, as a genetics research center. In 2021, details came to light about multiple controversies involving the BGI group. These controversies include alleged collaboration with the People's Liberation Army and the use of genetic data from prenatal tests, which number in the, t in the millions to map the prevalence of viruses in Chinese women, look for indicators of mental illness in them, and single out Tibetan and other minorities to find links between their genes and their characteristics. These two topics here, Human Genome Project and People's Liberation Army, are amongst the two topics that we'll expand on a little later on. So the three founders of this company, their names are Wang Jian, Yu Hun, Yang Huanming, and Lu Siki. I say three because one of them left later on in the company. Now, these three created it in September 1999 in Beijing, China, as a non-governmental independent research institute in order to participate in the Human Genome Project as China's representative. Starts out in, uh, innocently enough, as most of these companies do. In 2007, BGI's headquarters relocated to Shenzhen as the first citizen-managed nonprofit research institution in China. Yu Hun left BGI at this time, purportedly selling his stake to the other three founders for a nominal sum. In 2008, BGI Shenzhen was officially recognized as a nonprofit organization by the Shenzhen government. In 2008, BGI published the first human genome of an Asian individual. You may have heard it referred to as the Rice Experiment or the Rice Genome. So, Wang John was born in April 13th of 1954, and he is a Chinese uh, geneticist and businessman. He is chairman and co-founder of the BGI Group, which is formerly the uh, Beijing Genomics Institute. Now, from 1988 to 1994, he was a research fellow at none other than the University of Texas, University of Iowa, and the University of Washington, working on cell proliferation and differentiation. In 2003, he was involved in the efforts to sequence and contain the SARS coronavirus. Yang Huanming was born on October 6, 1952, near Wenzhou, Zhisheng, China. Yang earned his PhD in 1998, or 1988 from the Institute of Medical Genetics of University of Copenhagen, Denmark. He then completed his postdoctoral training in Europe and the United States, attending Harvard Medical School as well as UCLA. Yang's works include the mapping and cloning of human genes, the sequencing and analysis of the human genome, human genome diversity and evolution, and the ethical, legal, and social issues related to genome research. With his interest in bioethics, Yang was the only Chinese appointee on the international research panel of President Obama's Presidential Commission for the Study of Bioethical Issues in 2011, investigating the 1940s Guatemala syphilis experiment which we will look into also later on. Now, Liu Siki, co-founder and supervisor of BGI Group, is uh, currently the chairman and still remains the supervisor. He is in charge of the Board of Supervisors and Spectrometry Department. He obtained his PhD in human genetics and biochemistry from the University of Texas as well. Then he did postdoctoral research in biophysics at Baylor College of Medicine. He has served as professor at the Graduate School of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, an adjunct professor at China Agricultural University and Central South University, and an associate professor at the University of Louisville. So we have these three here, the founders uh, created in 1999 in September, all 
Three attended U.S. colleges. All three reside in China today and are still a part of the company. Now, in 2010, this is where it gets interesting. BGI Shenzhen was certified as meeting the requirements of ISO 9001-2008 standard for the design and provision of high throughput sequencing services. The same year, BGI bought 128 Illumina HiSec 2000 gene sequencing machines, which was backed by none other than 1.5 billion US dollars in collaborative funds over the next 10 years from the China Development Bank. So since 2012, it has started to commercialize its services, of course, having investments from China Life Insurance Company, Citix Goldstone Investment, Jack <clears throat> Ma's Yunfeng Capital, and SoftBank China Capital. In 2013, BGI reported it had relationships with 17 out of the top 20 global pharmaceutical companies and advertised that it provided commercial science, health, agricultural, and information services to global pharmaceutical companies. That year, it bought Complete Genomics of Mountain View, California, a major supplier of DNA sequencing technology for $118 million. So now we have, you know, giving data to Big Pharma and DNA sequencing to, provided by the U.S. So this is the concern. In 2010, the Institute 500 node supercomputer processed 10 terabytes of raw sequencing data every 24 hours from, from 30 or so genome analyzers from Illumina, the U.S. funded collaborative effort. The annual budget for the computer was $9 million, yet we donated over a billion over a 10-year span. Now, in the same year, BGI's computational biologists developed the first successful algorithm based on graph theory for aligning billions of 25 to 75 base pair strings produced by next-generation sequencers, specifically Illumina's genome analyzer during de novo sequencing. The algorithm, which we will also be looking into later on, called the SOAP de novo, can assemble a genome in two days and has been used to assemble an array of plant and animal genomes. Now, Illumina's genome analyzer, of course, was U.S. funded. And collaborative funding was provided for Illumina. And Illumina Inc. is an American company, of course, incorporated one year prior to BGI Group on April 1st, 1998. They develop, manufacture, and market integrated systems for the analysis of genetic variation and biological function. The company provides a line of products and services that serves the sequencing, genotyping, and gene expression, and proteonomics markets. Its headquarters are located in San Diego, California. Now, just take a look at the mergers that went into Illumina. In February 2020, Illumina filed a patent, or patent infringement suit against BGI relating to its Cool MPS sequencing products. In return, BGI has filed patent infringement lawsuits for violation of federal antitrust and California unfair competition laws, claiming use of fraudulent behavior to obtain or enforce sequencing patents that it has asserted against BGI, preventing the firm from entering the U.S. markets. What's going on, guys? Girls? There's a narrative being pushed. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at some headlines and listen to some creepy music, just so you can see what's been going on in the world. We've got to figure this out together. We can't trust these people. This is scary shit. My opinion. The U.S. funded Illumina systems purchased by China are now being used to collect and, and sequence United States DNA. How do they get it? Easy. Cellular phones and data packs with large contractors. How could they get my data or my DNA? Cell phones. Talk to y'all later.